Happening now, the Belton Fire Department is fighting for their Fill the Boot fundraiser. They want to work on the clock at a fundraiser for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Now, Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live from the Cass County Courthouse to break down this dispute. Sarah. Cynthia, the very latest out of here is that a judge said 10 minutes is not enough time to decide what to do with this case. So he wants to send this to a full trial. But at issue, Labor Day weekend is when these firefighters typically fill the boot. So now they're trying to figure out what they're going to do next weekend. Take a look at this video. This is the firefighters collecting money last year for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. This is something they've done for 30 years here in Belton and in other communities. Communities, and now the city of Belton is telling them that this is actually illegal. Those firefighters are on the clock while they are collecting that money because they do this during their work day. But that's something that the city is now saying cannot be okay because they are not benefiting the city in particular and they say that's why this is illegal. Now we did talk to firefighters today and they say that there is a legitimate reason why they do fill the boot on the clock. When firefighters collect money on duty, it, it legitimizes the situation. Anybody could buy a fire t-shirt on eBay. Anybody could buy a fire boot. Anybody could walk around and ask for money like a panhandler on the street. We have our firefighters there wearing the reflective vest. The fire truck is there. There's a chain of command for the fire captains on the scene to make sure that the money's accountable and it stays safe and stays secure until it gets to the bank. Of course, the big question here is that communities all around the metro collect money for this association. So if Belton decides something in the coming weeks, this could have a fallout to the rest of our area and really affect the amount of money that is collected. Now, they did get a temporary injunction to be able to do this this upcoming weekend. But today inside, the judge said he's not quite sure if he still wants to go through with that. So we will bring you the very latest on 41 Action News. We are live in Cass County. Sarah Holland. Back 41 Action News.